The Ecole Normale Supérieure de Lyon is a higher education institution and uh, it can be compared to kind of uh, graduate college with a strong investment in interdisciplinary research. Uh, it belongs to a big consortium on the site of Lyon, including all academic institutions and also um, uh, research agencies. The life science in Lyon has a great dynamics because it relies upon a, very, a heavy background, historical background, with strong investments in life science, in medicine. Uh, medicine has a long story in Lyon. Uh, it should be mentioned also that Lyon was the first place to have the first veterinary school in the world, which was created in 18th century. Also, Lyon has a long tradition in social sciences. And if I just look now at the, the industrial development in the field, uh, Lyon has also a long tradition with a flagship, which was the Meyer Company, with strong investment in vaccines and infectious disease. On the side of Lyon, there is a strong mix between academics, companies, and this vicinity between all these actors makes that the, all these actors have strong intermingled activity. For example, we have uh, common research projects, we are developing common platforms, technological platforms, and almost every month we have common meetings with people from companies to see how we could develop leading edge uh, new technologies. Lyon Biodistrict is providing a heavy concentration of actors in the field of industry, academic research, and I think this mixture makes it a very a heavy task force in life science, in biomedicine, and this creates a very strong attractiveness for small companies, but also for uh, very competitive young academic research groups. In five or ten years, I think the evolution of that is strongly promising and I'm sure that within five years we can see some laboratories, which are joint laboratories between companies and academic institutions. In one word, I would qualify the biodistrict as a bio-melting pot. <laughs>